Can you see this? As I shared the holiday fluff, I wanna share it with you guys so that you see that if you stay consistent, you know, whenever you see those huge increases in your weight by five, six, seven, eight, 10 pounds even that you don't freak out hey guys it's felicia with happily ever after living today is wednesday november 30th and i was about to take a quick shower before heading into work but i thought you know what let's just do a weigh-in wednesday let's do a quick check-in so i can share with you guys how things have been going since thanksgiving like not even since thanksgiving because i ate like through thanksgiving and then a little bit more like throughout the weekend but i just want to check in with you guys and let you know how it's going so i just finished walking six miles i'm going to take this shirt off because i want you guys to see i want you guys to see like why i do not typically eat flour or sugar it's not just about weight loss i've been on a weight loss journey but you guys need to see this belly hold on so as i mentioned i just finished working out but i wanted to show you guys i just walked six miles Let's see, I may have to take the... Can you see this? See that? So, I mean, typically, it's not like I have a small stomach anyways, but just the inflammation that I get, even like my face is still, to me, I can tell, like very puffy. And then my arms are a little bit more swollen than typical. Um, and I, before I head out for work, I'll show you guys a picture, a quick video or a picture in my scrubs too. Like my scrubs are still like a little bit more snug than they were um, prior to Thanksgiving, like a week ago. So yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to check in and just share with you guys that um, when you're deciding, let's get the camera back on the tripod. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys that whenever you're deciding to take cheat meals or you know eat differently throughout the holidays just know that for the majority of us not everyone but for the majority that does come with a trade-off honestly like i'm sharing this with you guys but i'm not beating myself up about it because it was something that i had been thinking that i would do for a while and i'm glad that i did it like i don't have any regrets but in the past but part of the reason why i'm sharing this is because in the past this would have like wrecked me if i was on a weight loss journey and then I had splurged a little bit like over Thanksgiving and then gained like a ton of weight then it would have just really frustrated me and also just to let you guys know like you saw the workout I did over the weekend or whatever um the day after Thanksgiving but I've also like been walking consistently today is Wednesday I walked six miles this morning I did four yesterday four the day before so I'm still getting in my workouts my water is right next to me I'm still drinking my water and also yesterday I fasted for 21 hours and 45 minutes the day before I fasted like 20 hours or so so beginning like this week on Monday I did shorten those eating windows a bit um I am trying to get in I could be drinking more water um and also I've noticed that whenever I'm out on my walks like my hands are definitely swelling more and there's more puffiness i'll actually put a few pictures in here so yeah as you guys can see i'm definitely retaining like more fluid so what was the point of the video okay felicia but the point of this video is that whenever you guys see like weight loss journeys not everyone shares like all of the highs and lows like even for myself i could have easily waited until i like shed all of the holiday weight and then came back and like you know act as if anything didn't happen but my goal here is to be fully transparent with you guys and let you guys know like the highs and lows of this journey okay so if you guys remember in the video that i posted where i did my weigh-in like the day after thanksgiving my weight had gone from like 216 up to 222.6 well today i waited and my weight is currently i'll put it here 219.6 so I've lost, like I've shed about three pounds so far um, just by going back to, you know, doing like the healthy habits that I talked to you guys about in that video. But there's definitely a cost to pay. And to be completely honest with you guys, had I not partaked in sugar or flour, and for me that was sweet potato pie, mac and cheese, trying to think did i do anything oh i did have some apple pie yeah anyway so the trade-off for me is not just like um the additional five and a half six pounds or whatever but it's also like this bloat which is part of that weight gain but it's the bloat that i'm just like oh my gosh when are you going away <laughs> so just know and understand the trade-offs and my goal is to continue sharing with you guys like 
as I shed like this bloat, um, as I shed the holiday fluff, I want to share it with you guys so that you see that if you stay consistent, you know, whenever you see those huge increases in your weight by five, six, seven, eight, 10 pounds even that you don't freak out because when your diet is typically you know a pretty clean diet and then you start throwing in things like sugar um excessive sodium all of that stuff you can definitely expect a weight gain but my goal for you is that you don't like just throw your entire plan away that you'll stay on track you'll stay focused that you'll reinstate all of your good healthy habits and that you'll see within like a few weeks or so maybe even a few days for some of you guys that you'll get back down to your regular size your regular weight and then you can start like resuming and trying to lose additional weight from there so that's my plan that's my goal here for um over the next few weeks you guys know my goal is to get down to 216 before january 1 back to where i was and then i'll share with you guys my second goal is to finally get under 200 pounds by my birthday which is in april so when i january 1 i told you guys like i'm not one of those people that knock people for new year's resolutions i love them myself i ride off the wave and the energy of the newness of the new year so when january 1 hits i will be one of those people out there grinding going extra hard filling my cart at the grocery store with all of this food that i'm not gonna let go to waste but um yeah so please stay tuned um my goal for you guys know tomorrow is december 1st holy cow so tomorrow is december 1st and last year for the month of december i participated in vlogmas where i uploaded every single day but my goal for this year if not every day would be to at least upload every other day so i love to share with you guys what i'm eating in a day um my meal plans my grocery hauls um weigh-in wednesdays all the things some of my workouts so i plan to be pretty active here on the channel if you're new to the channel do me a favor go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you guys don't forget on the shorter videos please give them a big thumbs up because youtube likes pushing out my longer stuff but if you guys give the shorter videos a thumbs up too maybe they'll continue to push those out as well so that more people can find this content and we can get healthy together together oh you guys want to see a quick body shot let's do a body shot i haven't done that in a while and i'm wearing capris and not shorts so i'm sorry but i think that for weigh-in Wednesdays, I think I may go to a swimsuit of some type, I think, because I will be lifting weights and I want to be able to see like if there's any muscle growth. I think, I don't know if I'm like 100% comfortable with that yet, but I think, I think. I ran about my husband this morning and he was like, I'm cool with it, it's fine. But I don't know if Felicia's cool with it yet. But if you see next Wednesday, I do weigh in Wednesday in a swimsuit so that we can start tracking like muscular definition, then that's what's going on. All right, guys, I gotta go shower and get to work. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What's up, guys? It is weigh in Wednesday.